One of the really cool features of the Panasonic G7 is that it will allow you to control the camera from your smartphone, either an Android or iPhone device. Now first you'll need to download the Panasonic Image app. So once you have that downloaded, head into your camera. From the controls on our camera, we will go into the menu. You want to head over to our setup and Wi-Fi. Enter that. Now we'll go to Wi-Fi function, or you can go to Wi-Fi setup if you want to set up something in there first, but we'll go to Wi-Fi function. We want to set a new connection, or in my case, I could choose select destination from history, being that I've already done this, but we'll go to new connection. What we want is remote shooting and view. So we'll select that. Now we have a QR code that we can scan with our phone and an SSID and password if we want to enter those things manually. Now you want to open up your Panasonic image app and we'll try to connect to the camera. You can go ahead and click QR code here or you can click cancel and choose QR code from up here in the menu. You also have the option of choosing Wi-Fi. We'll do QR code, it's just a little bit easier. Now all we need to do is scan that QR code with our camera. There we go. And now we will connect. Now we know we are connected via Wi-Fi since we have a blue light right there. So as you can see, I'm able to view on the phone exactly what the camera is seeing. I'm also able to snap a picture. The camera took a photo for us. We're able to say, start recording a video. As you can see, it is now recording video. I can stop it. You can also, of course, position your phone the other direction. You have all kinds of options. Now you can't do everything. You can't switch a lot of settings that would, of course, require a turn of a knob, but you are able to do several things right from your smartphone. The display button there. We have all these options. We have white balance, exposure, things that you can adjust it right from the comfort of your phone for remote shooting. You also have the option to view photos or videos, some videos that you have taken. Photos that are, by the way, stored on the camera. So you can see now that has populated here. And I can actually view those photos and videos that are on the SD card of the camera. So that's very cool as well. So let's select the video that we just shot and we can play it right from our phone. Now, of course, depending on some models, you may not be able to play back, but as you can see here, we're able to play that video back that we just recorded right on our phone without having to offload anything. Uh, we can see it right from the internal uh, SD card of the camera. You can see you can do a lot of other things, transfer image, remote operation. We have plenty of options right here that you can adjust your camera with right from your Android or iPhone smartphone using the Panasonic Image app. Pretty cool. Let's go back to remote operation. There we go. We'll snap a picture. Awesome. Let's go down and we'll say adjust the ISO. As you can see, it's adjusting. Hopefully you can see it's adjusting on the camera because we have the display up. and shoot another picture. 